Well, we do have that winter blitz continuing in these last few days of 2000 going to 2001. I'm sure it will continue. Thanks for tuning in overnight. I'm Mike Bono. We can take you through a sequence of satellite pictures and show you a very, very interesting development as we have low pressure not too shabby in the Midwest bringing us 6 to 12 inches of snow from Minneapolis through Chicago and Lake Effect. But then that low kind of ran out of moisture until it tapped the Gulf Stream, the Atlantic, and then clouds just exploded. This is just about 24 hours ago right now that the action zone, the lift zone, hit the warm waters of the Atlantic and then just blossomed into a nor'easter. And now the upper level low occupies an area from the Gulf of Maine, maybe a couple of small centers, back to southwest New England, but the snow still falling in some areas. Let's take a look at how much snow fell in a focused area around New York State. The dark purples into New Jersey coming in with one to over two feet of snow in north central New Jersey in these counties and up to a foot almost down to Atlantic City. Now you had nothing west of about Allentown, PA and Philadelphia getting six inches, nothing at Harrisburg, Reading or York, uh, Pennsylvania. So it was a very fine line but up to a foot or two feet in New Jersey and up to a foot on Long Island. Then eastern New York up to southern Vermont and western, west of the Connecticut River basically had over a foot but it is still adding up in northern New England and northern New York State. Some of the totals, if you know these areas, you should uh, really be impressed. Um, a Vernon, a ski town, a couple of ski areas nearby coming in with over two feet, that's convenient, with up to two and a half feet in Mountain Creek, New Jersey, White Plains, New York, Newark, New Jersey coming in with over a foot, Greenwich, Connecticut, Secaucus around the Meadowlands, 14 inches, Central Park over 12, uh, the most you've gotten in December since 1960. So very, very impressive total in Central Park, New York, and blew away the old daily uh, record of about six inches or so. Boston got very little, an inch or less mostly. Lemonster, though, 10, and uh, where we had Mike Seidel out there around uh, the northwest corner of the Boston area coming in with eight or nine inches of snow in Lowell. Burrowville, Rhode Island to Pittsfield, Mass, nine inches, but I think Pittsfield is still getting some snow as this upper level low tosses some bands of snow back to Albany, to Pittsfield, Northwest Connecticut, even New York City getting a little shot after midnight, but a lot of wind on the coast and we have gale and even storm warnings in northern New England. How much more? Up to an inch down to Virginia and Kentucky. During the morning hours. Here's another look at our satellite picture here. We can see this um, bowling ball continue to head off towards the east and that will be producing the heavy snows as it continues overnight, most people will wake up towards the morning and that system will be over and done with. So what we're seeing is total accumulations on the order of three to five inches, Washington, D.C., an area north, especially across southern Pennsylvania, four to eight inches in Philadelphia, and six to ten inches as we go from New York to Boston. Anyway, that's it for now, and let's go back to the studio with Lisa, who will talk more on the current situation. Paul Kosen, you've been calling for this to occur for the past several days. Let's hope everyone at home watching is prepared. We are already seeing bouts of heavy snow falling. If you're traveling along Interstate 64, maybe leaving Charleston, West Virginia, headed up to Pittsburgh uh, and across the Great Lakes here, but also to the southeast. It's a cold night. Here's Dave to tell us more. That's right, Lisa. It's much colder than it was last night and from the Carolinas down into Florida. And as the transition was made yesterday from warm to cold, there were thunderstorms. And unfortunately, one tornado struck the south side of the Atlanta metropolitan area. Today was the day to clean up. The twister touched down around noon yesterday at the Forest Square Shopping Center near this house. That was about five miles south of Atlanta's Hartsfield Airport. All in all, seven or eight buildings were damaged, including a Pep Boys store and a Pizza Hut. And there were reports of some injuries. One broken arm, I believe, was about the most serious. Now that transition's been made, there's the cold front, it's offshore. We've cooled down to 59 in Miami, 47 in Tampa, and after a record high of 85 in Orlando yesterday,